doing a three-part series on love given that it is Valentine's week and today's topic is going to be a little bit different today's topic is going to be talking about brooding over injury um, a few Sundays ago maybe two Sundays ago in mass we went over one of the most popular readings that are read at weddings it was not read at my wedding but um, it's from Corinthians so um, if you're familiar with the Bible, if you're a Christian, um, Corinthians is one of the letters, is from one of the letters of St. Paul, and he's writing to, to the people in Corinth, and he's talking about different virtues, and the greatest of these in this passage is love. But when he's describing love, people are mostly familiar with the love is patience, love is kind, but we gloss over a particular phrase, and so I wanted to bring it up. Um, we know love is patient, love is kind, it is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interests, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury. And for whatever reason, that statement has stuck with me, and I wanted to like discover it more and then just talk about it today. So the textbook definition of brood is... To think deeply about something that makes one unhappy. Um, for example, he brooded over his need for a wife. Synonyms are to worry about, to fret about, to agonize over, to mope over, to moon over, to languish, to feel a despondence over, to have grief over it. <clears throat> and so I was trying to think about what why this was included in the whole passage about what love is in the explanation of how it's one of the greatest of the virtues. Um, to not have grief over injury or to not to mope over injury for me is a part of the forgiveness process. Um, it's very easy to say that you've forgiven someone, but obviously the pain that has come from whatever injury that person or um, situation has caused you can be really hard to overcome. And to really finalize that, encapsulate what love is, is to really let that injury go. And it's very much harder to say, easier to say than to do. Um, so I just wanted to talk about it and see where your comments are. Feel free to comment in the comments below, send me a DM, what have you. But um, brooding over injury is something that I know a lot of people struggle over. Um, and it's part of the heart it's probably the hardest thing um, when it comes to truly unconditionally loving someone the type of love that um, st. Paul is talking about it's not the like frivolous bachelor in paradise love I think it's a type of love that we are always going to be working towards until we die it's never going to be perfected for us and it sounds depressing but I think as long as we're working towards it we're we're trying to be our best versions of ourselves in whatever relationships we have whether if it's you and your best friend you and your partner you and your sibling you and your parents constantly working on the things about love that are difficult for you is showing up to do the work in those relationships and that's one of the things that i've learned about marriage and that will actually be one of the topics in this three-part series and a blog post that's coming up on another site um, that brooding over injury does nothing but harm your relationship um, and it does not move towards really healing and love is really about fostering that um, safe environment of vulnerability and healing and sometimes just letting go and not um, holding on to the the destructiveness of moping and brooding over that injury so that you can be more open to the healing that comes from true love. Um, the, the love that St. Paul is talking about is the love that, you know, I believe God shows to us. So he is patient with us. He is kind to us and he does not brood over injury and injury that we show God is obviously in our sins and in the ways that we make decisions that go away from what we're called to do. Um, and so we're called to em em we're called to imitate that, and um, that's kind of what I've learned to try to do 
most in my life and I think the brooding over injury is for me the hardest part of loving is to just let things go um, and not be so stubborn and hard-headed when it comes to um, when things don't happen in relationships that they should or when people make mistakes in relationships um, that's not to say that you foolishly um, har put yourself in harmful or hurtful situations consistently in trying to salvage something because the key is both parties are working towards love and it's not just you and the other person doing whatever they want and treating you however they want so that's my quick take on love stay tuned for tomorrow's quick take and thank you for watching bye